What is a tournament? Well, what is a tournament? What is a tournament? No, you don't. What is a tournament? We'll tell you. A tournament is when every all competitors in speech and debate come together in their different events and compete at a school. There are lots of different things that go into a tournament and there's lots of different rules and we're going to tell you which ones. <laughs> the beginning of the day when you find out which rooms you're going to be in for the prelims. But be sure to be quick about it because there's lots of people that need to find their rooms. Before going into your round, you don't want to be rude. Make sure the performer in front of you is done. Look them through the window or wait till the clapping to make sure that they're actually done. And make sure to announce your name so they know who you are. Megan Coughlin checking in. Thank you. There's nothing better in this world. When a performer is speaking, express. make sure to be silent and attentive. Also, when this performer so is speaking, make sure to be off of your phone! And after three rounds of prelims, you get to do the best thing of all. Go. You get to wait! Do you know what semis are? <laughs> Has semis happened? No. After that very long waiting, there's breakings. At breakings, you find out if you went to semis. Semis are when the top 12 competitors compete against each other in two rooms. In those, in those two rooms, here, there's six competitors, and the top three from each room gets to go to finals. <laughs> After semis, you get to wait! Again! When are finals? When are finals? Mm. Are finals happening? Hey Megan, guess what? What? Finals are happening right now. Really? No. You know what? Finals are when the top three from each semi's room get to compete against each other in front of three judges. This is the most important round and the most fun. So if you get into a finals round, don't stress, just have, have fun. After finals, there's a warning where every competitor from the tournament gets to go to a single place and you get to see who gets from sixth to first in each event. And it's pretty exciting if you get to finals. 
And there are a few rules of etiquette, etiquette and we'll show you. <laughs> Follow me. during a warding, they get one clap. Like this! But there's one exception for first place. At first place, you're sitting down, they call their first place, and then you stand up and clap. <laughs> to show that they're the best. If you're awarded, make sure to be gracious to your competitors. When they're called, give them a clap. And make sure to tell them how well they did during rounds. Another tidbit of advice is don't be smack talking or talking rude about your other competitors. They might be close around or someone that they know might be close around and it looks kind of bad. You know, like for example, Courtney's piece is so bad. Like, did you, have you seen it yet? It looks unprofessional. If you're gonna talk smack, just wait till you get into the car. I know it was what so you mean. It was so bad. Bird. I can't even get over it. What it is terrible. this? What, what is, is that? <laughs> to see which competitor gets to go to the next round of the tournament. Two, picket fence. Picket fence is when a competitor gets all ones in their rounds. Three, stacked. Stacked is when a round that you're in is really hard and there's lots of great competitors in there. Four, time signals. Time signals is what a judge gives you if you request it while you're performing to see how long you're going. For example, five down. For example, four down. Three down. Two down, one down, 30 seconds, and then counting down from 10 seconds. And then at 10 minutes, you get this and you should probably stop performing. Simple as that. You guys are going to be great. We talked to you all about how a tournament's going to go and you guys seem pretty prepared, but I have one more bit of advice. You guys need to freaking socialize. I mean, what is it? Like, just talk.